Here we are in section 5.3, numbers 18 through 23, and it says factor the following using this method, where a does not equal 1, which means we're going to take a times c and use that to find the factors to split up b, which is different than if a equals 1, where we can just find those factors and put it in. But we've got to split b, so we have four terms. Let's do it. Here we have 10 times a negative 6 is a negative 60. What times is to negative 60? 1 and 60, 2 and 30, uh, 3. Yeah, 3 goes into that with 20, 4 goes into it 15, 5, yeah, goes into it with 12, 6 goes into it with 10, 7, no, 8, no, 9, okay, so that's all of them. So we look at that, this is a negative 60, and so we've got to add to a negative 7. So one of these guys has to be negative. Let's put negatives on these guys and see if we get any of them to add up to 7 now. That adds up to a negative 59, negative 28, negative 17, negative 11. Oh, look at that guy right there. We have a negative 7, bingo. So that means that this guy actually broke up into... 5x and a negative 12x. Oh, that's great. Okay, let's put the other guys there. 10x squared plus 5x minus 12x. That's where that negative 7x came from. So now let's chop this up. We have one, two, three, four terms. So now we're doing grouping. So we can take out a 5x and we're left with a 2x plus 1. And then we can take out a negative 6. We're, at, we're left with a 2x, that's a positive 2x because we took out the negative, and a plus 1. Oh my word, look at this guy. Here's that guy and that guy, 2x plus 1, which can be taken out of the whole thing. So we're left with 2x plus 1, way out in front, times what's left is the 5x minus the 6. Good, let's look at the next one, number 19. We're going to take 8 times th negative 3, which gives us a negative 24. 1 and 24. 2 and 12 times to 24. 3 and 8. And 4 and 6. Excellent. And again, one of these guys has to be negative and one of them positive. You can tell by who won here that the bigger guy, if it's going to work, had to be positive over here and negatives over here. And if not, try it the other way, and you'll just see it'll come up to a negative 2. But look at that right there. Shazam! Those two numbers add to a positive 2. And you could try this. This adds to a positive 5. That adds to a positive 10. So we really have 8x squared minus 4x plus 6x minus 3. All right. We now have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. So we can go put those together, and we can factor out of the front. Let me see. comes out of an 8 and a 4, a 4x, right? And we're left with a 2x minus 1. Now, what can we pull out of here? It uh, looks like a 3. And we're left with 2x minus 1. Excellent. So we get 4x plus 3 times 2x minus 1. Now, you can pull it out to the front, or if you want to take those both out that way, that's great. But 2x minus 1 is located in both places. Great, let's try number 20 now. Ooh, wait a minute. This guy's in the wrong order. What are they doing? Should be a 5x squared plus 16x plus 3. Ah, there we go. Now it's written in descending order. Now we can take the 5 times the 3, and we get a 15. 1 and 15 times 2. Oh, there's a positive. 1 and 15 times to 15, or 3 and 5. Do either of those sets add to 16? Yes, indeed. There we go. So this is 5x squared plus a 1x plus a 15x. Remember the two numbers that we found, that's where the 16 came from. And then plus a 3. All right, let's chop this guy and chop this guy. Let's see what we get. Can we, what can we pull out of the front half? We can pull out an x. We're left with 5x plus 1. Uh, what can we pull out of this second half? A 3. We have 5x plus 1. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? We now have a 5x plus 1 there and there. Let's pull it all out to the front. We get 5x plus 1 out in the front. 
and we get x plus 3. There we go. Good. The next one. Um, we're in order. 2 and the 12, they times together to give us a 24. Hey, look, we've got that list up right up there. 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. And this is a positive 24, so we can have just positives here. Okay, let's look at it. And we get, ooh, a 3 and an 8. Marvelous. So that's where the 11 came from. 2m squared plus 3m plus 8m plus 12. Okay, chop that in half. We now have four terms. So we pull out an m. And we're, we've got 2m plus 3. Pull out a 4. We have 2m plus 3. Good deal. And we see the 2m plus 3 here and the 2m plus 3 here. So we pull that guy out. And we get 2m plus 3. m plus 4. Good deal. Let's head on down to the next one, number 22. We're going to take 2 times a negative 25 is a negative 50. Could be a 1 and a 50, 2 and a 25, uh, 3. Does 3 go into 50? I don't think so. 4, nope. 5, 5 and a 10, 6, 7, 8, nope. So we're at a 5 and a 10, and they have to add to a negative 5. Oh, yeah, there's a negative 50, so one of these has to be negative. This guy's negative. This right here will add to the negative 5. So we get 2x squared plus a 5x minus a 10x minus 25. Great. Now let's cut that in half. We have four terms. We're going to do grouping. So x comes out, and we have 2x plus 5. And what about on this one? Ooh, a negative 5 can come out, and we get 2x plus a 5. Yeah, when we take out a negative, that becomes a positive. And look at that. We now have the 2x plus 5 in both places. So we have 2x plus 5 that comes out. Zoom, zoom, like that. And 2x plus 5, and we're left with x minus 5. And you can even check this. Go ahead and take 2x plus 5 and multiply it by x minus 5, and you'll get 2x squared minus 10x plus 5x. That'll add to that negative 5x in the middle, and minus 25. Good deal. Number 23. Ooh, this has y's in it. It might scare some people, but it's done the exact same way. Take 6 times 14. Now, 6 times 14 is like, ooh, like 84. And that's a positive. So, 84. It could be a 1 and an 84. Uh, 2 times a 42, 3, 3 goes into 84, I don't think so, 4 can go into it, 21 times, ooh, 3 would go into that, I think 3 goes into it uh, 28 times, forgot that guy, 4, 5, mm, no, I don't think so, 6 goes into it 14 times, it better go in, or 6 times 14, 7 goes into it 12 times, 8, nope, 9, nope, 10. All righty, I think we're good. So we look to see what adds up to 25, and we have this 4 and the 21 right there. So this is 6x squared plus 4xy plus 21xy plus 14y squared. We now have four terms. We go to grouping. So we pull out a 2x, and we're left with... 3x plus 2y, and if right here, what can we pull out of those guys? Look, 21 and a 14 looks like that's a 7, and they both have a y in them. We're left with 3x plus 2y. Bingo! And look at that. We now have 3x plus 2y here and 3x plus 2y here, meaning we can zap that guy right out, and we get 3x plus 2y. And we're left with 2x plus a 7y. And there you have it.